Hey folks, Machine Repeat here. Uh, boy, I've loved the movies since I was a little kid, growing up in western Minnesota, going to the movie house. And i got to tell you, the last 25, 26 years that I've been covering the used farm machinery market, I always get a kick out of seeing a tractor or farm machinery in a movie or TV show. Always makes me smile. And uh, a couple years ago, I was... Uh, out in Nebraska talking to my friend Aaron Fintel with 21st Century Equipment. He works on the used equipment side of the business there. And we got talking about tractors and farm machinery in the movies and folks I've never met anyone that knows more minutia about tractors that have appeared in major motion pictures and TV shows than my friend Aaron. And I teased him at the time I said Aaron sometime we're gonna do a YouTube video and talk about this. And last week, I covered an auction out in Imperial, Nebraska, and Aaron was there, and he was kind enough to take some time, and we talked uh, tractors in the movies. Hey folks, Machine Repeat here. I'm out in western Nebraska. Ran into my friend Aaron Fendel with 21st Century Equipment. And folks, I have met a lot of uh, people who love used farm machinery over the years. Nobody <laughs> passes this guy right here. Aaron, uh, known you for a couple years, and uh, how did we even get onto the topic of uh, farming and tractors in movies? I think, well, we had we had supper that one night in Alliance. Oh, there. the auction last year. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. And then we uh, just started talking. The whole night was machinery, yeah. obviously, between you and I. Wow. And, and somehow we got on to cool and unusual things, and, and we folks, got on to farm machinery in movies. Folks, uh, this guy has like a photographic memory of every <laughs> tractor and farming reference in a motion picture. It's unbelievable. Uh, now, I'm 49, Aaron. I, I think of like Footloose. Right. Um, so we got Kevin Bacon. Yep. Uh, a couple scenes in that. Wasn't there a 4020 in that one? There, yep. 4020, like side shot. Okay. Side shot. Then there's a classic uh, chicken. Oh, the chicken game with of chicken. the tractors. Right. Yep. 1080 Massey and I think a 20. Eight or twenty nine forty deer that uh, Mr. Bacon was driving. Right, and if I remember, the shoelace got caught, so it can jump off. <laughs> right. Oh, that was. And as a child growing up, Massey, that movie really made me mad. Ooh, the so Massey loss. The, the Massey wrecked. And where'd you grow up, Aaron? Out here in uh, Deschler, Nebraska. And where's Deschler? In the Southeast, place? South Central Nebraska. Okay. And you've been with Twenty First Century how how many years? About eight years. You are a wholesale manager. Yep. So yep. you're you're uh, moving used machinery all over the world every day. Yep. Every day. And, uh, well, okay, now, what are some of your favorites? If you would recommend uh, farming movies to people, what are your personal Aaron picks? One of, the, one of the best is Race Against the Harvest. Come out in 1987, I believe. It's a movie about battling custom cutters. One Ooh. of them is John Deere. One of them is Gleaner. Okay. Um, great. The whole movie, far, every scene has farm machinery. And is this the movie you were telling me about where they, they took Massey's and they put a, it was like a different name on it? No, that is Superman 3. <laughs> Superman 3. Actually, Superman 2 has a scene near Niagara Falls with a small Massey dealer in it. Okay. Superman 3 has repeated appearances of early 80s Massey machinery okay. labeled as Wheat King. Well, why the heck did they do that? I, I don't know, because in Superman 2 it says Massey Ferguson all okay. over. But, in, but it's a passing shot. Okay. Superman 3, they are physically at a Wheat King dealer. Wheat King Everything's dealer. massy, 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 covered up with Wheat King. Now, Superman 3, was that still Christopher Reeve? Yep, yep. Wow. That's the one where they're, where he goes back to Smallville. Okay. And they go out on that picnic, and they lose okay. their, the dog runs off, and the kid runs after the dog. Okay. And those three Wheat King combines <laughs> are out there cutting, okay. and he makes that combine peel out by stopping the reel. Because the kid has the dog right in front of the cutter okay. bar. Nice. Super. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Now, you were telling me about the, the, the custom cutter battle. What was the name of that one again? Race Against the Harvest. Late 80s. Yep, 1987. And that was Massey against John Deere. No, Gleaner and John Deere. Gleaner and John Deere. Yeah, R, R6s and R7s. Now, most Right people... after the Dutes Alice okay. happenings. So, what's our plot line? What's our storyline there, basically? Oh, the, uh, the, the one guy used to custom cut and sold out to his brother-in-law. The guy that sold out, staying home farming yep. in uh, Kansas, I yep. think it's supposed to be Western Kansas. The, uh, the, the beginning of the movie, it's a dreary day, and yep. the brother-in-law that he sold the operation to leaves yep. him high and dry, 
got to go on. It's too wet to cut. We got other guys to see. Okay. He gets mad, goes to town, buys some old, I think there's two 105s and a 95. Okay. John Deere combines. Old. Crow, crow bait even in the 80s. Wow. Goes and buys them, patches them up, and heads north to down bat, the cutting to, trail. He's battling with a 105 and a 95? Yep. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Brave, optimistic soul. Very, very. Um, and he ends up stealing a bunch of jobs from his brother-in-law running the gleaners. They get to they're the three-fourths of the movies them battling it out, okay. dumping each other's trucks on the streets, you know, at elevators and now, stuff. Was there one particular scene, uh, kind of an intense uh, physical altercation in that movie? Well, when when the guy in the gleaner at the beginning of the movie when he takes off, yeah. the the guy that ends up with the John Deere's, he goes and parks his pickup across the driveway. Okay. So they bash through his fence, this like white split rail fence. Oh. With the headers on the combines, the gleaners are almost airborne, bouncing wow. through the ditch and stuff, and trucks driving by, and he's got a grain scoop, he's hitting the trucks on the side. <laughs> so, I don't yeah. know if that's on Netflix, Aaron, but folks... I don't think it is. I've only found it on VHS, but it's... it's. Did you actually tell me you purchased a VHS copy on eBay? I did. Over 100 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. And they're, they just, you can't find them anywhere. Right. Right. Wow. Well, uh, I'm definitely going to Google that when I get home and look for some pictures on that. It, it's tremendous. Now, I remember, again, uh, graduating college and, like, Field of Dreams, of course. Right. People know that with Kevin Costner. Yep. And we posted that on our Facebook page, uh, I think, last year. Boy, a big discussion. And the people were trying to remember, what, what was Kevin driving in the field when he was chopping up his corn? I think it was 2840. 2840. Yeah. Okay. He was out there shredding, to, shredding out the baseball diamond <laughs> okay. with a 2840 and wow. tasseled out corn. Now, what, there were some other movies in the 80s, kind yeah. of farm crisis movies. Country, okay. one, one of the best, and I think it was kind of even critically acclaimed as a legitimate movie. Who's in that? Uh, was that the uh, Mel Gibson? No, Mel Gibson's The River. The River, oh, yeah, and the was river. Mel and Sissy Sebasek? Right, right, and Mel's a river bottom farmer in Illinois, constantly flooded out, re has to replant four times every year. You remember what he was driving? Yep, the the most popular thing they show in that movie. I think he plants with it, and he still ear picks corn. And that movie is made in like '84, '85. Okay. He's got a two or three row like John Deere 300 ear picker, right? Um, on a 3020, I believe it is okay. narrow front. Okay. Out there, wow. he plants with his four row wide pull type planter. <laughs> and picks corn with that. Rig. I, I would struggle to find too many folks that would remember those details. Yeah. Now, I understand this. your passion even goes into television references. Yes. Now, a particular syndicated show <laughs> in the early 90s that had some red swimming suits on. Yep, yep. Tell us there, about that one. There is a scene in being, oh, I was probably preteen. Okay. 12, 12 13 okay. when Baywatch was, you know, real popular. Yep. And honest to God, I'm such a tractor geek. My favorite episode <laughs> starts, because you have to have your unnecessary Baywatch drama. Right. It starts, they're they're out. There's a John Deere tractor, and they're out combing the beach with okay. like a big first harrow or something, sure. and they find a dead body. But the tractor is like a 4240 nice. with like 24 532 singles on the back. It's super <laughs> cool. Wow. Again, who would know uh, the tire size of a 4240 <laughs> in Baywatch? Now Pamela Anderson wasn't on the tractor. I understand. No, she wasn't. Oh, she wasn't okay. anywhere near it. Okay. But still, an episode worth checking out. Absolutely. Probably the best. <laughs> and what what other some of your other favorite movies, Aaron? Would you say with tractors? Well, you got Country, which deals with the '80s farm crisis. Right. The equipment in it is mostly early '70s, late '60s. Uh, Alice Chalmers, okay. which is kind of neat to sure. be featured in a movie. It's right. mostly all junk, okay. but it's but it's still cool. He's got a 190 XT with a white aftermarket cab that he plants with. They don't ever show it. In one scene, it's wow. over by the barn, okay. hooked to the planter. Um, he picks corn with like an F2 with like a three row head <laughs> that gets upset in a tornado actually. Okay. Um, what any other uh, movies that maybe aren't farm settings that just have a, a tractor in them that uh, caught your eye or you remember? Yeah, there's there's tons of them. Um, and right we now get, we I, hit we hit Superman. We yeah. got uh, Field of Dreams. Yeah. Uh, now I don't I didn't watch Mad Men, but I understand they had a. a a reference with a John Deere uh, garden tractor that uh, did some damage to a lady's foot or something. That could be. That could <laughs> you be. haven't watched Mad there, there is a movie made in the early 90s or late 80s with Sean Penn okay. in it. 
and it it's not an ag movie, but it, it's set in rural rural America. Yeah. Yeah. And there's several different instances in that movie. Yeah. They steal a truckload of tractors from an Alice dealer. Wow. And this was like it would it would have been the eighties. Yeah. Um because they would have been at the time like like fifty forties and stuff well, sure. little little Alice utility tractors you never see any would have been the era of like the 70 60 black belly sure um, there's there's one I think he's sitting on a 70 20 I think it's a 70 20 he's yeah. sitting on the hood leaned yeah. up against the against the cab it's a cab tractor yeah. slick looking rig because it was fairly <laughs> new in that scene and his girlfriend or something pulls pulls they got a real long driveway and he's sitting out at the corner of yeah. the road there and he's sitting on that um, when they when they steal when they steal all those tractors they steal them in like a, a dry van 53 okay. foot dry van trailer okay. and there's several different instances when they're stealing that that you can see the real equipment not wow. the little utilities okay. but worthwhile okay. high horsepower and what was the other one we were trying to remember uh, we couldn't think of the name of it the Massey Combine movie yeah uh, was it from the 80s or 70s it's from the 70s it's from the yellow wheeled 700 series Masseys, 750s and 760s, okay. the yellow wheel. So it'd be pre 78, I think, okay. was the first year gray wheeled Massey. Another combines. movie about the cutters? Yes. Custom? Yes. Okay. And I cannot for the life of me remember what that was called. Well, we'll. Uh, but it, it's, it's phenomenal. It. It's all, they got like new C65 Chevy trucks <laughs> nice. that they're pulling the combines with. Awesome. The combines are, you know, the old. 70s, right. 750, 760 Masseys are brand new. Oh, piece of history. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Well, Aaron, I, I've been meaning to shoot this video for a long time. Thank you for sharing your knowledge of the uh, farm tractors in the movies. We're going to have to have more fun with this on Facebook. And, oh, yeah. And invite the audience to share. <laughs> but again, uh, folks, if they want to, you, know, uh, you know, this is one of the top guys in the country, folks, to buy and sell used equipment. And your 21st Century Equipment, what's your website, Aaron? Uh, www.21stcenturyequipment.net. Okay. Uh, my friends Aaron uh, Findle and Ben Bear with 21st Century, great guys, great dealership. And again, thanks for uh, sharing your knowledge, Aaron. You bet.